Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion. Today's video is going to be less about the gameplay and more about uh, optimizations, how the game runs, how the game performs. I want to say big thanks to the views I got on my last video. I thought it was really cool. I was so excited. So it's nice to see uh, other people excited about it. Today I'm just going to kind of go over just kind of the settings in Watch Dogs Legion. And from my findings, I think I've kind of nailed the optimal settings. So from just messing around in the game and changing the settings and comparing all the settings against each other, I think I've came up with kind of the optimal preset balance between graphics and performance, uh, especially for my uh, RX 5700 XT card. So I'm just going to kind of breeze through them. Full screen, I uh, haven't seen a lot of difference between the different modes, but full screen is typically better performance wise, especially for Windows which blocks out a lot of tasks when you're running it in full screen. Uh, so I'm running the game at 2k, a uh, nice 5 refresh rate and vsync off uh, because I've got a monitor that supports free sync anyway so it doesn't really matter. I haven't set a frame rate limit and I've set my field of view to 90. I prefer this, I just feel like you see a lot more but obviously if you lower the field of view you will get more frames. I haven't really looked into how many more you get but I'm a very strong believer of 90 field of view, if not it kind of makes me feel a bit weird when I play. So this is the juicy setting, so first I'm going to start with DirectX. I've heard and read so many different things about how DirectX performs and I feel like people are getting the complete wrong end of it. So obviously you have two, you have DirectX 11 and 12, they perform different depending on the system you're running it on and I see so many people just googling DirectX versus uh, DirectX 11 versus 12 and they see 11 performs better so they just go for it when in reality it might not be the right one for your system. So I've compared the two so right now I'll display on screen kind of um, around the benchmark with both DirectX 11 and 12 and for my system like I said in my last video DirectX 12 performs considerably better on my computer and I'm not sure exactly why other than that DirectX 12 is better for alleviating a lot of stress on a CPU and I do have a weaker CPU in my computer which I haven't upgraded for quite a while so I probably think this is why I get better performance kind of better graphics card takes a lot of the pressure off the CPU to do other things so just for my findings DirectX 12 is better for my system but don't just set it to DirectX 12 compare it on yours, run the benchmark, see what you get, drive around town, see what you get. There's frame rate tools in the game itself, so just use the benchmark tool just to see what kind of frames you're getting. I'm going to use that as a basis. So from there, I've really gone with a preset that tries to preserve the graphics while just keeping frame rate high. I see a lot of this, uh, the geometry, which I didn't see made a lot of difference in terms of frame rate or visual fidelity. I would either go for high or very high, so for this I just left this as high. An environment takes a bit of a hit to your game performance, so I've just set this to medium. Again, I can see a lot of difference setting this to high, even in the photo, I don't know what it's trying to show me. Like, you flick between them, it's obviously changing, but I can't, I can't see. This is the same with geometry. Flick between them, I, I honestly can't see any difference between the two even in game. I've seen with the geometry slider that far away objects can have less detail and that's about it if you're really not bothered by that. I just I just get the extra frames you get from this. Text resolution, it seems like again this one doesn't really matter it's based on your VRAM so if you, if you have an 8GB card and you're running this game at 2K go for Ultra if you want it but again I can't see that much difference so I've just left it at high because it's it's getting to the point where you, even in a photo you, you can uh, you, at least in this one you can actually see the difference in the bloody photos but between obviously lowest being terrible don't go for it low difference in frame rate between all these settings is so so small just leave it high or ultra it depends on what vram usage is i've just left it at high text filtering I don't have it anything other than ultra the difference between low to ultra is so minimal again so ultra is your best bet and in the photos again this one actually shows Oh, it's just so much cleaner, so just go for it. Shadows, between, uh, I wouldn't go for low, I kind of balanced it at medium, because if you just go up to higher, like say ultra, all it does is make the sh shadows a lot softer, more realistic. You can probably compromise a bit between medium and high, but 
again, it depends if you kind of want those. I kind of prefer sharp shadows compared to softer ones, I don't know why. So it doesn't really bother me having this at a medium setting. Headlight shadows doesn't change too much performance wise. You kind of, you, you do obviously lose more and more as you ha add more and more shadows to different cars in the world. I've just said it's my own car. I doubt you're going to really notice this that often unless you're the one driving anyway. Next one, reflections, is a very, very big option in terms of graphics. Anything other than high onwards, I would say you should set it to high 100%. Medium removes tons of the reflections, especially on the River Thames, uh, especially at night time. You lose so many reflections, it makes the game look a lot blander. So high is definitely where it should be, or anything higher. But Again, high, you can see that much difference between high and ultra, especially when you're playing the game. So if you're looking for performance, especially in this game, which is a bit balanced between unoptimized to very hard to run, so it's a very much balance. And you kind of get to these deadweight settings that I kind of want to call them. Preference, I kept death of field on because I don't mind it. Motion blur, big no for me. Bloom, just put it on if you want some brighter lights. I know some people don't prefer this, so don't worry, ambient occlusion. To hit to your performance is very minimal. Anything other than TAA on the post anti aliasing setting, I wouldn't set it anything other than this because uh, reflections heavily use this setting, so it kind of forces you to use it. And again, I didn't see horrendous amount, and it makes the game cleaner anyway, so just go for it. And sub subsurface scattering, high, that will do. I mean, between the two, just makes kind of human face is more realistic. It doesn't hit your frame rate a lot so just set it on. And obviously I don't have an RTX graphics card so I can't set these. And my upscaling is just maxed out to 100% because I don't like scaling anyway. Um, and yeah I have, I think these are the main settings I'm going to set so this is what I found to kind of be my optimal settings. And being in some of the harder to run places such as Piccadilly Circus it seems to run quite well. You know, it still has its times where it drops below 60 frames, but I'm not too sure what you can do about that because unless even people with 30 90s aren't getting over that, so I wouldn't necessarily worry that you're not getting over 60 frames constantly. I'd be more glad that you can run the game. <laughs> so, I'll drive around quickly. Um, let me set somewhere just to drive to. Let's drive to here just to see the reflections. Switch off the music. Um, so one of the biggest issues with any Watch Dogs game, and Ubisoft game anyway, is when you accelerate or speed up in the game, your frame rate seems to tank. And they added a patch to the game which seemed to try and address this, but I can't really say if it did. It feels as stuttery as it did before, but I mean, the game feels smooth. It's not like it's terrible frame rates but I don't know it could be better in my opinion I'll switch on the benchmarking uh, tools actually at the moment so you guys can see the the average the minimum and percent lows but it's not terrible it's not like the game performs extremely poor it's just cons it's just that it always guarantees to run poorly when you drive it um, but I think the game looks really nice I mean the game, everyone who's walked into my room and looked at the what I'm playing have told me that the game looks extremely realistic. It does look really nice, so um, if you have the RX 5700 XT and CPU better than mine, I'm sure you'll get more consistent frame rate times than I will. Uh, but the game does perform quite nicely. I'm expecting that there will be patches to patch the game out a bit, because there are issues, but I mean right now, as soon as I stop and I get out of the car, I seem to always get around 60 frames, so it's really fine in my eyes. You know, a couple of drops here and there, but the game does look really nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm not too sure what else I should really show you guys. I don't really do benchmarking too much, so I thought I'll just make a little optimal video guide specifically for this card. Uh, again, Everyone is getting bad performance in this game, so I don't think necessarily you should worry about performance that much. If you get around 60, 
don't worry. If you get a 30, congratulations. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, there was a stutter there. Um, I'm hoping Ubisoft patches this game a bit more. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll reply to people's comments. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more, because... I'll probably be making more Watch Dogs Legion videos. I've been slowly going through the campaign at the moment, so... But I've got a couple of ideas for some videos, some different ones, not just gameplay, some more unique ones, so... Uh, let me know what you think.